Hey YouTube, so I'm going to upload a video of my 5 gallon tank. I haven't updated it in about a month. Not a whole lot has changed besides the wisteria growing really well. I've actually trimmed about two stems off and put in my wife's tank, the uh, 8 gallon glowfish tank. I just did a whole boatload of maintenance and uh, stuff on this tank. I went ahead and I propagated the crypts. I actually wound up with about 25 plants. Um, but I only needed seven of them. I threw them away. In the future, when I start propagating my plants like that, I think I'll announce it on this channel and see if there's anybody who'd like me to send them some crypt. Because I know it's a common plant, but if all you do is send me shipping costs, I'll send you whatever stems of crypt I have. So I went ahead and I put four up here now. I need to move the food. And then I put three back here. There used to only be one, but I split it into three different crypts. You might be able to see it from above better. There we go. Now you can see them. So there's one all the way in the back, one just in front, and then one right here beside the filter. My wisteria is growing. You can see there's a new shoot coming off of it right now. It's been growing like crazy. I also have noticed that since my wisteria took off, my nitrates have consistently been at zero in my tank. Um... My original goal with this tank was to set it up to be very aesthetically pleasing, planted, and low maintenance. I haven't had to do any sort of intense maintenance on it for about three months since I added the crypts, to be honest. I, uh, I generally gravel vac, but I would only vac under the driftwood back there. And do a water change once a week. This is only a five-gallon tank, so I change a gallon. That's 20%. And uh, everything stays healthy. All the parameters are good. I've never had any problems with this tank besides the temperature ones that I talked about, I think, a couple videos ago that killed all my shrimp. Speaking of my shrimp, there's my honey gourami. It's still my favorite creature in this tank. I love that little honey gourami. But I have about 30 shrimp in this tank right now. I've taken something like 15 out and put in my wife's tank also. This is a male cherry shrimp. It's about a month and a half old, six, seven weeks old. Um, it hasn't gained much color yet. I've found that the males tend to color up a lot later than the females. Um, and additionally, the males are just less colorful starting out. So here's a couple of other males. The shrimp are terrified of the gourami, but it never really tries to eat them. It just tries to find out what they are. It will try to eat the babies, though. And again, this is some good video of the honey gourami. So if anybody with gourami experience can tell me if it's a male or a female, that would be excellent. I keep thinking more and more that it's a female. It seems to be getting a dark stripe down the side. 
of its body and its fins are staying well rounded so I suspect it's probably a female I would count that as a stroke of luck because from what I've read on forums and such they're generally a little bit more rare there's a very red female you can see My neons are all healthy and my nerite snail is growing well. It's sleeping right now, but it's still getting bigger. Alright, so I see him at like six minutes, so thanks for watching.